Welcome, Scorpio, to your end of the month reading for September. I hope you friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, Scorpio, getting straight into your energy of what you were thinking and feeling for the end of September. Very nice. Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio. Coming out of the King of Cups upside down. Not expecting any offers. Not feeling that great. Feeling like something might be over dominating you. Forcefully taking you. Um, of course, I don't know. I keep feeling like forcibly telling you that you have to do something. Like you feel like somebody is using forceful behavior. Or maybe you are trying to force something to happen and you're really feeling domineering at this time. So it could be either or. You, I'm feeling like it's probably you, Scorpio, since this is a Scorpion card. The Knight of Cups is Scorpio, so I'm thinking it is you. Okay. This Oracle card is not only going to clarify on the King of Cups in reverse, it's also going to clarify on the entire reading. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Too many cards there. Only need one. Why does it keep... Okay, just take that. <laughs> it keeps trying to give me two or three cards. Let's see what the other two cards are that it keeps trying to give us. Is the Waiting Game and a Tower. A Tower is also a Scorpion card. So more than anything, this is your energy of you. The Solar Plexus Chakra is... I can, right? And that's what we're doing this this month with the, with the uh, tablecloth. So it is definitely the month of I can. So it looks like you're saying I can dominate this. I can force this to happen or force this not to happen. Something of the above, right? So getting straight into the present, the recent past, and the near future energy and situation to figure out why. Because you look like you're forcing a new destiny. You're forcing something to happen, yeah, for more power reasons. <coughs> Excuse me, could be dealing with a Leo as well. Or you may have Leo in your chart. Okay. And the recent past, you're moving on. Ooh, nice. And the near present, or future, excuse me, you have with the love begins with the throat chakra right side up. So you are speaking of this new Love begins speaking out loud, making sure that your words are heard. Um, very nice. Figure out why exactly. With the moving on in the recent past, let's figure out why that's there. Having a passionate separation, it feels like whatever you're separating your, yourself from was going to make it more passionate for yourself. It could be separating yourself from this emperor, somebody who is manipulative. It looks like you're moving on from a manipulative uh, person um, and passionately doing so. Yes, because of the three of cups. It could be in a third party situation or having somebody interfering with your life. However, it is more than anything. It's you're moving on to separate yourself from this emperor over here. It could be an older person, an Aries or a Taurus or an Aries Taurus cusp, doesn't have to be, but you're <clears throat> separating yourself from this person because you're tired of their ways because you want to be happy. So if it is not a person of love, of interest, it could be a boss who is manipulating you, making you do things that you don't feel are necessary for the career that you're in. So this boss is, yeah, giving you 10 of swords. So... Okay, take that how it resonates. Whatever doesn't resonate, guys, just throw away. Take what, what resonates, right? Yes, because you're looking for something that gives you better happiness. You're tired of the Ten of Swords. You're tired of them giving you Ten of Swords. You want to give yourself the happiness. So, yeah. So you're forcing your way out of this. It almost feels like you're doing the shoulder push, right? You want better cycles. You know you want better cycles. You want a better destiny. 
you want better fortune, better luck, just things to go better within your life and you're expecting this to happen. <clears throat> okay, two of cups upside down. Whatever it was, there was no cooperation. There's no, um, might not be, if this is love, you didn't feel like you were in love with the emperor anymore. It could be unrequited love. Maybe you feel like the, um, the emperor still loves you, but you're not in love with the emperor anymore. Or maybe you felt that you love the emperor, but he did not, or she does not love you. So you're like, forget it. Forget it. You're not bringing me the happiness that I want with the Ace of Cups upside down. I want my cups fulfilled. So you're telling yourself this now in the present that you're looking for this destiny because of these reasons. This is where you're going to get your power back. And you're expecting, you're expecting to find somebody or find a job that are, that is giving you the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups. You want those things right side up with the, with the power. It's like you're fighting in a power struggle. I see power struggle right here with the Five of Wands. Your life has become a power struggle and you're looking for the harmony. No more struggling, no more fighting. The only thing that it feels like you're dominating and forcing is the fight to get the power back for yourself, for the harmony within yourself. Yes, and manifesting. So you're manifesting with the law and attraction and saying, I can have this. And it looks like over here, since this resonates on here, it's like, I can move forward to find the happiness that I need. I just need to get away from this person. So with the law and attraction and taking the action of the magician, you're saying, I'm going to get this power back. I'm going to get my destiny back on track and I am forcing this and I'm becoming the domineering scorpion that I am. You may have stung somebody over here, right? With the love begins in the near future, it's like the queen of wands is upside down. You're saying, I'm mad. And this could also be the person that you were dealing with is saying, I'm mad. Maybe they're even talking crap about you saying, you know what? Um, Scorpio is going to look for her, her or his love, which I am not included in. And this makes them upset. And there is speaking here. There is gossip going on. There is backlash, something. This, this emperor is speaking, this queen of wands. He said you could be dealing with an Aries, um, but also it could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Um, so for a lot of you, it could definitely be a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. But they are speaking bad about you because they know that you left to go find love somewhere else. Probably love for yourself. Yeah, you're tired of watching their red flags. You're tired of them not giving you the freedom. Um, you're tired of them not being able to give you the love and happiness that you were looking for. Yep. So you are totally 100% ignoring them. It feels to me like, you know, they're talking crap about you and you're ignoring all of it. You're like, you can talk all you want. I'm not listening. Okay. Yeah. You're taking action and now you're having the communication and taking action. Oh, there it is. And a message is coming through with this throat chakra open, which is, I speak, I'm speaking to you. I'm sending you a message now. Okay. So it looks like you may be sending them a message or telling someone else a message. King of swords. Yes. Great communication over here. You're speaking the truths over here about what is going on. You're speaking the truths about how you didn't make me feel good. And I'm not you know, I'm ignoring everything that you're saying to me. Yeah, maybe you're even telling them at one time you were my Mr. and Mrs. Right, but I'm done. Yeah. I've had the realization that I want somebody to put me on a pedestal. I want someone to love me with the lover's card coming out over here, and you're not giving it to me. So I do believe in the near future you are going to, the only words you're going to say to them is this, right? Because it looks to me like all this gossip and all this nonsense that they're, they're spreading around is just nonsense. And you're pretty much ignoring that. But you're going to have to get to the point sometime over here, Scorpio, to where you're literally like, I'm done. There is no cooperation here. Okay, so let's get over here. And yes, I can have the happiness. I can have the love that I'm looking for. 
the angels say? Peaceful resolution, and I believe this is within yourself. Um, once you speak this to them, hopefully it will also come out a peaceful resolution to where they understand that, you know, this is over. Um, it's up to you, though, to whether or not you're going to make this a peaceful resolution. Um, peaceful resolution could also just be you telling them what you need to tell them and then completely blocking them, ignoring them so that you can have peace of mind. Okay, for yourself. And listen to your intuition because, you, you know, your intuition knows. It knows exactly what to say at the right time and when to say it for perfect timing. Okay. And that was the reading for you. And until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye. Hello, friends. I finally got my first item in the mail from my store. This is the Chakra Peaceful Mind collection. If you guys are interested in any of these items that I have, click on the link below in the description. Until next time, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.